Hi guys, it's Lapose, aka Afro Judaku, and you are watching Afro Judaku. So today, I thought I'd come to you guys today and tell you about my goals and my aspirations for my YouTube channel and just for my life in general. I was inspired a lot by Shameless Maya and her shamelessly promoting herself and using social media as that tool. Well, I want to do the same for myself this year. I want to shamelessly promote myself, shamelessly promote my business because I am now self-employed. I am running my own vintage business called Suki Suki Vintage. It's inspired a lot by the 70s and blend it a bit, bit with the 90s as well. And so I thought that what I'd do today is basically um, beat my face and tell you about my aspirations and what I want to do. Oh, and these are my twists that I did by myself. <laughs> I'm so, you know when you're just so pretty, you just look at yourself and say, wow, you're gorgeous. That is how I'm feeling. I'm feeling my oats. Let me feel my oats. First thing I want to chat to you guys about is um, what has been happening to me, what happened to me this year. I didn't know where I was going, really. And I know that's kind of depressing to say, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. I know that I wanted to be creative and blah 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 and all that jazz and then finally I got a job doing something that's fun because I love I love all types of fun things really I'm a, I'm a fun kind of gal you know so um, I got a job at a museum as a photographer um, what else was it? yeah photographer retailer sort of thing it was awesome like I really enjoyed that job Mostly because the people I was working with were like really, really nice, really, really nice people. And the job was just fun and easy and everyone knows that a fun and easy job is a good job. I really, 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 really enjoyed that job. But six, seven months down the line, the museum actually closed down. That was really heartbreaking because it came at a time where I moved out of my house and I really, really needed the money. And I'm now doing my master's in illustration. You'll be seeing a lot of um, illustration videos coming soon because I actually want to apply a lot of my artwork to my business as well. I really, really want to like customize vintage clothes and all that. I'll put a link down to my business below. Shameless plug. I'm on ASOS Marketplace and I'm on Zpomp. Lost that job due to the business closing down. And that's when I decided to just go for my business go ahead with suki suki vintage i mean i was like making money off of selling vintage clothes before like whenever i wouldn't have that much money coming in this is a very raw video gosh this is stuff i really wouldn't want the internet to know because you know we live in a world where we just want people to see us be successful and not struggle or suffer so for me coming out with a lot of this stuff it's kind of kind of homolinoshtius you know when something is homolinoshtius that's just how I'm fearing so basically moved out of my parents house lost my job the same week um lost my job the same week and started focusing more on Suki Suki Vintage. Everything was going fine. I was making like, I was making enough to survive, I would say. This was like a couple of months ago. I'm talking like this was a year ago. It will be. But yeah, I was making enough to kind of like survive. And then I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I just came across this slump. This like, this slump. And I wasn't making any money, like not that much, the amount I'd want to make. And it just really, really got me down and it, like, it, it was not fun. It was not fun at all. And I'm kind of still in that phase now, but I am going to be faithful in myself and in God. And I'm going to shamelessly promote myself and promote my business. I have so many talents and so many skills that I just want to out to the world and I don't promote them at all I 
I think I have a very good singing voice, but no one hears it, obviously, because I'm in my room singing to myself. Um, I'm an amazing artist. I haven't put that on the on YouTube, but I do post my art on my art Instagram, which is Judaku's Canvas, Judaku's underscore Canvas. I'm shamelessly pugging, of course. And um, yeah, what I, well, what I want 2018 to bring is a more boisterous me, not boisterous, but like more confident me, because I've always been a confident gal. I've always been very confident. But as you grow up, things change, you know? Things change and you lose your confidence. And like I've said, I've got into the vintage community. And what I've noticed is that, I know this has been said before, but there's not really that many black faces in the vintage community. I mean, for pinups, yeah, I'm seeing like a lot more black faces for the pinup community. And I'm not seeing that many faces for like 60s or 70s fashion. I mean, I, I think, all like the the instagrammers that i follow that are like you know do their 70s style are beautiful but i don't see any of like my faces you know faces i would want to see and get inspired by as well as the faces i'm following and i guess if you don't see something you have to create a market for it so i'm gonna be the 70s vintage gal that you love and now and that's what I'll be adding to my to my YouTube channel. You'll be seeing a lot of illustrations, a lot of me like you know creating artwork, a lot of customizations of my um, vintage clothing. So a lot of sewing as well. I really want to bring that to the forefront. What are you guys doing to push yourself in 2018? What what do you want to do to just become a better person? To push yourself, whether it be in business or personal, what do you want to do? And are you gonna do it? do it for goodness sake you know oh god that horse on ice <laughs> i just want to bring my talents to the forefront and you actually you guys don't know this but i'm actually beating my face for a mini photo shoot that i'm going to be doing for suki suki vintage <laughs> yes everything is diy um i do it all at home uh sometimes by myself sometimes with my boyfriend but God really blessed me though, because this year I've had an opportunity to actually push my vintage business forward. I got a lot of, I got noticed by Depop and I actually had a photo shoot with them. Oh, messages, message. Yeah, I had a um, shoot with Depop, which was freaking amazing. The fact that I got acknowledged by them. Um, it was, oh, that was just the acknowledgement I need. Had a meeting at ASOS, at the actual ASOS building. Hello. And, um, that just wanted me to like really i really wanted to push my business even forward then with those things you know it's just god the universe just gives you little acknowledgements to let you know that you're on the right track and those two were like the biggest things i needed to just um catapult me forward those two were the highlights of my year and i just want to keep pushing suki suki vintage forward i have this problem where like i discuss my problems in my head too much so i'm like not even like my problems but when i have ideas um i've i don't really write them down i'm like oh my gosh i could do this or i could do this or i could do this and that's another thing i want to do for 2018 i want to write whether it be stresses and problems i may have whether it be goals and aspirations i want to write them all down because when all of that information is in here it can drive a person crazy and it's been driving me crazy so from now onwards writing 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 and more writing and that's what i feel like everyone should do princess nokia said something which was freaking amazing that like really really like awakened something in me she said words are powerful it's not called spelling for nothing Bro, what it's not called spelling for nothing are you dizzy that really sparked something in me and I noticed that whenever I write something down it just manifests itself which is such a powerful thing to me I've noticed God only listens to me when I'm being cheeky to him like when I'm like like 
God if you don't give me this. Show me, yeah, that you're God by giving me this. Show me that this is not in vain by listening to this, listening to my prayer. That's when God's like, oh, okay, La Pose, my daughter, please. Okay, I will listen to you. I will do this for you. I will guide you this way and that way. That's when I truly see God's power, when I shout at him. And I just feel like more people should be shouting at God. No, no. <laughs> I have definitely been abandoning God but whenever I would connect back with him I'd notice that things would happen in my life see that's an amazing thing whether you call it God or the universe whenever you have put faith into something whether it be prayers or speaking positivity into existence when you when you give power to words and give like just give glory to God and all that things happen in your life and I've noticed that with me things have been happening I have been seeing all the negative things that have been happening in this world like the slaves in Libya and all this stuff and I'm like because I'm the type of person I'm very sensitive I tend to cry when negative things happen and I can't do anything about it I cry or I'm like god please help these people I, I really want to change the world this is where it's coming from I really want to change the world through my artwork and I know that's a bit a, a bit ambitious to say but I really really want to do that but my belief system I need to push that a lot into my artwork because as an artist I was swayed a lot into um doing what's popular so basically drawing pretty images of people on the internet that's what everyone was doing at the time and it kind of pushed me to like not focus on what like my imagination and what I want to bring into my artwork I was focusing on pretty pictures drawing very nicely that, that people will like get a quick like maybe make a buck or two off of my artwork that's what I was focusing on and I just reached this point where I like I watched what is call it. she's got to have it and um, the artwork that she was doing to please other people was not successful but when she followed her true like political voice her true artistic voice that's the artwork that made her successful I really want to find my artistic voice and I think that voice is me not addressing political things but addressing human like just human issues human issues because when I do that I'll feel somewhat fulfilled I'll feel like I'll be communicating a message to um to people that may not know the experiences that I've experienced or experiences around the world of other people and through my artwork they'll be they'll understand these experiences and maybe want themselves they can physically change something in the world that's negative and hurting and eating at La Pose. So basically, it's my propaganda. My artwork is gonna be my propaganda. So I thought I'd go with something simple. Um, Essence Matte Matte. Thank you for watching this video, guys, if you watched it till the end. Um, pushing forward, I really want my business to be a success. Suki Suki Vintage Tori World. Um, I wish you the best 2018. Let's all be shameless. Let's all get it popping. Let's all be a success. Believe in yourself. There ain't nothing that you can do, man. I think that's a double negative. I'm not sure. But I have faith in you. You the best. Peace out.